Hi, this is Chad Johnson. Today I'm taking a look at the Rycote S-Series Windshield. It's a rugged, compact blimp with a simple design and a great price coming in at about $270 US. The Rycote S-Series Windshield and Suspension Kit is an all-in-one solution to field, microphone, and wind shock protection. Even the XLR cable is included and it comes in four sizes to accommodate different microphones. Taking a look at the S-Series, I do like the design. Uh, this is not a sock that goes over it. This is permanently on here. So one less thing to worry about. They twist off and so it's easy to get to the mic. Very simple. They stay on very securely. I didn't have them snapped on all the way, but you can snap them in there so they don't fall off. These liar suspensions are not made of rubber, so they're not going to break down and need to be replaced. They're very flexible and they dampen the rumble. Also, there are two places on here where the cable can be clipped on, which also decouples that noise from the microphone in two places. And each place has three different size cable clamps on there. And uh, that will accommodate whatever size cable you've got. It's easy to use, easy to put back on. It's an awesome little kit for under $300. Now we can sit here and talk all day about how awesome this looks, but that really doesn't matter for the pro in the field. So I'm gonna put this up against an industrial fan uh, and do a little shootout between the S-Series and the Rode Blimp and see how they do. Bam. Uh, today, you can see I've got a little shootout set up between the Rycote S-Series Zeppelin and the Rode Zeppelin. Both of them are economical and uh, well-performing blimps. And uh, today, I'm just gonna see if there's any difference between them in their ability to reduce wind noise. Now, the fan is gonna make some noise itself, uh, what I'm looking for is the low rumble getting picked up. I'm going to try it in a couple different angles. Now I've lined this up as best as I could with this fan, making sure that an equal amount of air is getting to the tip of both of the blimps. So I've uh, level matched. I'm using uh, two Rode NTG2 uh, shotguns inside the blimps. So everything's as equal as I can get it. Let's plug it in and see what happens. Now this is an industrial fan putting out a good amount of wind. putting my hand in front of both. I can hear some rumble, but uh, I'm not hearing anything uh, that I can't deal with in post. Looking at the levels on the camera, It appears to be uh, pretty head-to-head. -head. Each one popping up a little higher than the other one. But uh, they seem to be fairly equal. So I'm going to shut this down. And see if I can come up with another angle for this. On both mics, of course, the right coat on the left and the road on the right. So uh, seems pretty good. Let's see about moving this fan around. Now I'm from the side.
Okay, now I am doing the wind hitting the side of both of the blimps. Now in this one, it's looking like the road has the edge. That could be possibly because it's a lot bigger than the Rycoat S series and the fur is longer. The S series uh, seemed to do good on head-on wind because it's got a nice amount of foam built into the head here. So that's the side. Let's see if I can move these to the back. Okay, now I'm speaking into the front of both the microphones. Uh, I've got the wind lined up going right into the back of both. They seem to be about head to head, judging by my meters on my camera. So, and again from the side, And again from the front. So if you're doing any kind of videography outside, you need a blimp system that completely surrounds the microphone to fully protect it from the wind. The Rycoat S-Series windshield is a great solution at a great price. I suggest you check it out and compare it to the prices of other units out there. I'm Chad Johnson. I'll catch you next time.